Hi, welcome to The Money Compass. The show that will guide you through the world of money and finance. With me, Emma Knights. And me, Lucas Spiro. Exploring investments, retirement, taxes and protection. And helping you navigate your way to financial success. In today's episode, we thought we'd get to know each other a little bit. So hopefully you can find out a bit more about who we are and what we do. As you know, I'm Emma and uh, I have Lucas here with me today. Hi, Emma. Hello. So... Tell us a little bit about who we are and what we do, Lucas. So we are financial consultants based in Norwich uh, with an independent um, firm called Face to Face Finance. And we help all different types of individuals and businesses with anything to do with their finances, really, from their retirement planning, their investments. And we even do quite a bit of estate planning. And you might be thinking, so why are these two people, financial consultants, recording a podcast together? Well, uh, Finance isn't the most exciting subject, so uh, we thought we'd like to try and bring it to life a bit and make it a little bit more interesting for people and and share some information so the knowledge we have that we can pass on to other people. So when did you start as a financial consultant, Emma? Oh, so in 2018, I kind of started all my qualifications and kind of started with the company, um, but it was only at the end of 2019 that I got all of my qualifications and started actually being able to go out and give advice to people. So uh, it's still relatively new, but that's why it's nice to be able to talk about the topic and be really fresh with it. I think it's one of those things that nobody particularly enjoys talking about. Most of the uh, people in the industry are, are a lot older and yes, they've got all the experience, but actually we can bring so much value and pass it on to kind of the next generation. Yeah, I totally agree with that, Emma. Um, and picking up on your point about um, a lot of advisors being in, in, in the industry being a bit older, in, in actual fact, the average age financial advisor at the minute is, is 62. Those under 30 coming in, there's only about 5.7% of advisors in, in the entire country. I'm quite day. happy. I, I fit into that category. What about you, Lucas? I don't think well, you can quite fit in there yeah, anymore. No, not quite. I just get in the under 40 category. So uh, let's not go there and let everyone know my age. But again, the under 40s, there's still only uh, one under 20% of us. So I do think it, it's really important for young people not only to you know come into our industry, but just young people in general that really start thinking about their finances um, and, and start putting plans in place for their future and hopefully that's where we can um, come in and help. Definitely. I think another another thing that I particularly like about kind of where we are and what we do is that the firm that we work for is an independent firm so we're directly regulated by the FCA which means that we can always search the entire market to, to find products for our clients which we like to be able to do. We don't like being restricted to only be able to use certain products and different things. When you think of it, there's there's around about 50,000 um, financial advisors in total, but there's only about 11,000 left that are actually directly regulated. So it, it is definitely narrowing kind of down completely. So uh, it's good to be able to still offer that to people so that they, they can still get a view of the entire market when, when they're taking advice from somebody. Yeah, and as you say, that, that, that gives us the, um, you know, the opportunity to you know, pick from the whole of the market rather than just sort of be guided by what certain providers can offer and and, and we can actually tailor our advice to specifically um, suit your needs. And uh, I didn't mention earlier that we're sort of based in Norwich, but we do have clients all over the country and, you know, we can can come to see you out and about in your home. I mean, we can do things via Zoom, but the company is called Face to Face and that is, you know, how we feel the best way that uh, any advice is given, really, just to get that that relationship going going with the client. Definitely. And I think the other nice thing about us kind of being the younger, new generation of, of financial planning is that when you have a financial advisor, you tend to work with them over a long period of time. It's not just a case of you do one transaction and you never speak to them again. A lot of the work that we do is is building a relationship with our clients over a long period of time. Um, and I know obviously the the older advisors that we work with, some of their clients they've been working with for over 30 years. And that's a, a long time, a, a big span of somebody's life. So to be able to kind of start that journey with someone being young ourselves means that we're possibly going to see them all the way through their financial journey and their financial plan and, and follow them through it. It's not going to be a case of, oh, you've met me and I'm now in my 60s and I'm going to retire before you've even even reached kind of the latter parts of your life. So it's nice to be able to to go on that full journey with someone and see see how their life pans out. Yeah, and, and, and it's not just it's not just those, you know, you've got the next generation. So it's 
as you said, it's getting that lifelong relationship with someone, but it, it's also with their family. You know, they're going to have children, they're going to have grandchildren, and and we can help with all that that type of planning as well. You know, for the next generations, whether that's you know keeping the investments going, helping protect the the assets that the the, the grandparents or parents have worked so hard for, and, and just keep keep that wealth within the family. Definitely. So go on, Lucas, what's your favourite part about the job? It is getting out every day and, well, aside from drinking other people's coffee and eating their biscuits. If if I was going to say, yeah. if you ask a lot of people in our office, what we actually do is is drinking tea and eating biscuits. But uh... No, it, it is, it, it, all joking aside, it's getting out and, and just meeting individuals and, and just realising that everyone is different and at a different stage of their life and different have different goals and objectives and and I enjoy the challenge of you know of planning for those different situations and and helping people you know get to those goals whether that's you know uh, going on a, on a, on a exotic dream holiday or if it's just something simple you know releasing enough money to you know buy a new car or, or help the grandkids you know go to uni um it really has got a, um, a huge variety every day uh, and, and going out and meeting people is, is what I love doing so um, that's probably the best thing about the job for me. I would have to agree with it and it's it's not only obviously ideally you want to see everybody achieve those goals but I'm not going to lie sometimes people can't achieve that they, they have an unrealistic goal that they're trying to achieve but it's, it's working with people to to understand what is achievable or actually if they do push the boundaries a little bit what what can they actually achieve so I think it's just really nice to to see someone else understand what it is that we can do and actually sometimes you explain something and when it just finally clicks into place place and almost the penny drops of oh I understand that and everything falls into place for them that actually that's a really kind of uplifting thing to be oh, able to do for somebody yeah it's, it's giving people that almost you're giving them that you know hopefully giving them that knowledge and that power to 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 do things that they didn't realise that with a bit of simple planning or careful planning, um, like said, that is actually something that they might have thought wasn't previously achievable is something that is within their grasp just because of, their, you know, it could be a, a rule or a law or, or some form of regulation they just wasn't aware of. And it's nice to, you know, help people to, to do that and achieve those things. Definitely. Well, uh, hopefully everybody's got to know a little bit about us and what we do today. I'm sure uh, over the coming episodes, they'll get a bit more of our personality, find out about just how many biscuits we eat and different things along the way. I think for today, it's time to go put the cat on. If you've enjoyed listening today, why not head over and join our Facebook group, The Money Compass. And if you have any questions for myself, Lucas, or me, Emma, drop us a message in this group.